Andrew Lejeune, trackside at Chartin for Asian Racing Report, here with Michael Cox as well, founder and editor uh, for Asian Racing Reports. Um, Michael, start off with a mile on Sunday. Is it that straightforward? Is it just California Spangle and Golden 60? I'm certainly treating it that way. Uh, I, I think it's, as a lot of the big mile races here at Chartin, the nature of the starting point down the back straight here, long run, really tactical races. And I do think it is a, a race in two, just as we saw in the lead up race, the, the Jockey Club mile. Yep. The battle of tactics between the two jockeys, Zach Burton on California Spangle, probably in front and leading, dictating terms, and stalking him, Vincent Ho on, on Golden 60. It's a, it's a fascinating battle. So in that regard, did they both, they both did well at the barrier draws then, didn't they? I think so, but I think a bit, a bit too much has been made of California Spangle drawing inside. Of course, you'd rather than extreme outside, but maybe I think Zach Burton would have preferred to have been on the outside and rolling down the middle. It's a really long run down that back straight at the 1600 metre start. California Spangles, we know he's got the tactical speed to find the front. I think being drawn inside, if something has a go for the lead from outside him, it's going to put Hurt in a, in a situation he, where what he doesn't want to do is get crossed. Yeah. He wants to lead, dictate. If he'd drawn outside of Golden 60, maybe he could have uh, sat outside the lead been where he wanted to be. Watch where Vincent is, you know, he's inside. As it is, California Spangle 2, Vincent Ho and Golden 60 have drawn four. I think that's perfect for Golden 60. Vincent Ho can see where his rival is. He'll be tagging him for the run and he just doesn't want to let him. When they turn, if he's within two lengths and closer, as we saw in the Jockey Club uh, mile, he'll be able to run him down. Zach Pern, of course, associated with Hong Kong's great mile is only one here on International Day from the front in Beauty Generation. He's a very different horse, California Spangle, but he's, he'll be well aware of what he needs to and what he can do, what his limitations are. Does it simply come down to this, which jockey gets it right on the day? There's such a, we had a great piece on Asian Racing Report from, uh, from our Prophet of Probability that you can check out on the site. It, it's, he needs to be millimeter perfect. There's such a, a, a small room for error for Zach Purton here. If he goes too slow, it allows Vincent Ho to be close enough to be able to out-sprint. He's, he's run a, a phenomenal Freakish. Freakish. final 400 last time. So if he turns into a sprint, he's got too much. But if he wants to run along and turn it into a, a, a staying test, well, Golden 60 can do that too. So it's a case of pick your poison. There's just no room for error for Curtin. It's going to be a fascinating theatre to watch how it plays out there because there's no better better rider in Hong Kong right now. The Golden 60 trying to emulate Good Barbo and winning three in a row. I mean, he was a machine, good Bob. It always be difficult to, to line these horses up over the uh, over the ages. But um, how does he compare to to good Barba and some of the other Hong Kong's greats, Golden Sixty? Well, you go right through them, Gold, good Barba. You come through Ambitious Dragon, uh, who's who's dominant on his day, maybe inconsistent. You know, through Able Friend, uh, one spectacular season where he just looked unbeatable, but then injury prone. Um, in uh, Beauty Generation, who racked up a, an enormous winning streak. But I think if you look at the record, you say Golden Six is getting there as, well, as probably Hong Kong's greatest ever horse. And you look at the performance last start, the numbers, the sectional times, I just think it was one of the all time great performances. And I'm excited about what we'll see on Sunday. Obviously, with the greatest respect to the rest of the runners, I mean, we've got Law of Indices, Laws of Indices for, for Australia, Schnell Meister, Sally Osberg in the race last year. Have they got some sort of share? I just don't see the form being strong enough from what they bring to a race that's traditionally dominated by Hong Kong horses. So, you know, the record of Hong Kong in this in this particular race is the strongest of all four events. If you're going to bring a miler here and win, my Mars, uh, like, they have to be good, and, and maybe the Hong Kong horses have to be a little down. Well, they're certainly not at the moment. We've got two that are high quality horses. So, what's your gut feeling then on the uh, on the winner? I didn't think you'd ask me this, and it's a tough question, right? It's, uh, look, I, I, I don't think Zach Purton could have done much more. He, he rode a near-perfect race, couldn't win, and had five pounds in his favour. Yeah. I think Zach takes it away from him on the turn a little bit more here. I'm, I'm going to go on upset. I'm going to go California Spangle. Right, there you go. Uh, going to be a great race, the uh, Longjean Hong Kong Mile on Sunday. For all the latest news, views and analysis, head to asianracingreport.com.